Today we're gonna to be checking out the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro mouse. This is gonna be an upgraded version of the regular V3 and the V3X, and it's gonna be wireless and have a lot more cool features. So in the box, what we're gonna get is of course gonna be the mouse itself, a 2.4 wireless receiver with the dongle as well as the adapter, a USB-A to USB-C connection cable, a Razer instruction guide with a little sticker pack. So first impressions with this mouse, I really love how many features and buttons it has to offer. You're gonna have a left tilt, right tilt, two buttons here, and then you're gonna have three buttons on the side, which is forward, backward, and this additional thumb button. All of these can be customized in the software, and it's gonna be really made for MMO or MOBA type gamers. You can use this for productivity or if you're just an FPS gamer as well, but it's definitely gonna be designed for those RPG more type gamers. Now, if we look under the mouse, you can see that there is gonna be a few features as well. You're gonna see this little switch right here, and this is gonna be able to allow you to switch between Bluetooth or the USB receiver using the HyperShift technology. And then you're gonna have this profile button that lets you cycle between the different profiles for different games or workflows you have. And then if we go ahead and unscrew this little puck here, this is gonna allow you to charge the mouse wirelessly if you get the Razer charging stand. And there's also gonna be a little slot for you to store the USB receiver in there when it's not in use. Now this mouse also comes in a few different color options. You can get it in this black color like I have here, or you can get it in a white version if you prefer more of that lighter theme setup. And then as far as build quality goes, you're gonna have a variety of materials here. The mouse clickers are gonna be made of plastic with a texturized finish. And then the side buttons are gonna be a glossy plastic as well as the back of the mouse as well. And then on the sides of the mouse, both the left and the right, you're gonna have this nice texturized rubber grip to give you a nice grip. And the scroll wheel is also gonna be rubber to give you a nice flick and to also grip it more easily. And the build quality of this mouse is pretty good. If I do a little shake test with this mouse, you can see that there's gonna be very little movement happening there's only a little bit on the scroll wheel but nothing too serious and the reason the scroll wheel does wobble a little bit is because it has a technology where you can make it free spin or tactile if i go ahead and turn the mouse on you can see the scroll wheel right now is in tactile where i spin it and it stops but if i go ahead and press this button now you can see it's kind of like in this free spin mode or just keeps on spinning and spinning. And you can customize the scroll wheel even further in the software to make it more like accelerating, more smooth, or you can have a hybrid where it's gonna be half tactile and half smooth depending on how hard you flick it. Now this mouse does sound pretty good for the most part and here's a little click test for y'all to hear. So overall, not too loud, not too quiet. It is gonna be using Razer's Gen 3 optical switches. These switches have a nice little click sound to them that feel very satisfying. And then the sensor on this mouse is gonna be using a 30K DPI sensor, so you're not really gonna have much lagging or skipping around. And if we take a look at the Razer Synapse software, you can see there's gonna be quite a few settings that we can have here with the mouse. You have all of these customizable buttons, which is quite a lot. And you also have this scroll mode toggle where you can kind of have that enabled, or you can assign different keyboard shortcuts, macros, etc. You have like uh, sensitivity settings, mouse buttons, switch profiles, a lot, a lot of different things you can customize each button to do. And then you also have hyper shift mode. This essentially just duplicates the mouse and gives you a whole nother set of buttons. If we scroll down further, here's the hybrid scrolling mode. So this is the way this works. If I scroll, you can see it's just tactile. If I press the button, now it's in free spin mode. And if I go ahead and do the smart reel, this is gonna be a really cool feature. So now what happens is when I scroll, it just kind of isn't tactile. But if I go ahead and flick it, it keeps free spinning. So it's kind of like a hybrid kind of scroll wheel. And then you're also gonna have onboard profiles. You can have up to five different ones there. And to create new profiles, you just go ahead and click here. You have a little battery life indicator. Then we have the performance tab where you can have up to five different DPI settings and to switch between them, you just press this DPI button 
and you can see we're flying between them. And then if you want, you can enable X and Y sensitivity levels in case you want your up and down and left to right to have different sensitivity levels. And if five profiles is too much for you, you can go ahead and lower it to two total to have like a slow mode and fast mode. And we also have a 1000 Hertz polling rate, which I recommend keeping at that so you don't really lag around or anything. And then lighting is basically pretty straightforward. You can adjust the brightness of the light. I recommend just pumping this up so it's nice and vivid. It has a built-in battery, so you don't have to worry about swapping the batteries around. And then here is when the display is turned off, the RGB lights can turn off, or you can make them turn off after a certain amount of minutes. And then here is your different lighting effects. If you just want something like static, you can just go ahead and do that. And you can see the mouse here is going to be glowing green in the static color. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different lighting settings. I like just keeping it on spectrum cycling where it cycles between all of the colors slowly. Then you have calibration. This is basically how high you have to lift the mouse in order for it to not detect the mouse pad. And then over here we have the power settings where the mouse can automatically turn off based on the settings you set here. And then we have a profiles section where you can link a game up to a specific profile. So you go ahead and click that. Let's say you play portal and then you can assign portal to this profile. And to remove it, all you do is click X and that's that. So overall, this is gonna be a solid mouse with a lot of really cool features. I love that this thing is wireless. They do have a wired version, which is the regular V3. It's gonna be cheaper than this. And then they have a budget wireless version which is called the v3-esque basilisk if you want to see a video on either of those i'm going to leave links to that up here so be sure to check those out thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace